problem 1.14, the variation of fluid pressure with height is described by the differential equation dp over dz. dp over dz is equal to negative rho g. Keyword differential equation. Here, rho is specific density, ng is the local acceleration of gravity for an ideal gas, rho. Rho is equal to m p over, if I remember this correctly, rt times, what does it multiply by? Negative one is what it is, yeah. There, that's what I was missing. Where m is the molar mass and r is the universal gas constant, modeling the atmosphere as an isothermal column, isothermal, iso, iso meaning same, pretty sure that's Greek, and then therm meaning heat, now I definitely know that's Greek, means same heat, so the isothermal column has the same temperature throughout, of ideal gas, even better, T is equal to 10 degrees Celsius. So already, this is looking pretty good. Estimate the ambient pressure in Denver, where Z is equal to one mile. Okay, so we got that right there. Z is equal to one mile. And then, Oh, and also this too, at relative sea level, relative to sea level, for air, take M is equal to 29 grams per mole. So M for the air is equal to 29 grams per mole. And then values of R are given in appendix A. Well, uh, we already pretty much know uh, R is equal to 8.314 joules per mole degrees Kelvin. This is probably the most helpful value of R, the most helpful units, honestly, because it's just so applicable. Um, but that's what we got right there, and I'm pretty sure that's what it also says in the appendix too, just to be sure. So, what can we do right here? Well, I'm looking at this and I see we have rho is equal to that. Now, this has a lot more variables that we want right here than rho, you know. We, like, I mean, we know what gravity is. Uh, we know what, we, we don't know what dz is, but we know what z is. So, uh, this is what we want to solve. We want to solve this, so we need to find a way to isolate this. So, what I'm going to do right here, is I'm gonna just put the p over Z is equal to negative. Did I write two negative signs right here? Did I write two? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Apparently it wasn't misguided. That was just it. Okay. Negative MP. We'll pretend that didn't happen. I'm new to this, so you know. Let's have uh, some mercy in the comments section. Times G. Okay, so we basically have our differential equation right here. And what do we do next? Well, it's a separable equation, you see right here, because we can move P right over here and DZ right over here, so then we can integrate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just take this, just divide it there, it's equal to negative M over RT, G DZ. All right, now, what do we do? integrate it. I'm just going to leave all of this inside here because supposedly it's a good rule of thumb that uh, you don't know which variables are gradients with regard to z and by that I guess I kind of mean that they're variables so we don't know if they're variables or not so it's a good rule of thumb to just keep everything inside the integral. We don't want to assume anything. So now that I have this all taken care of I'm just going to integrate this ln p and then 
we are going to put P and P naught. Pretty sure this is how it works. Pretty sure that's not how it works. We have the initial on top. It, essentially, we're just going to do final minus initial. Um, this is a little bit embarrassing, but you know I'm new, so I'm going to look it up afterwards to see if A or B is final and initial or whatever. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's how it's. I don't know. We we understand the idea. It's final minus initial, and then we have Z right here. DZ integrates into Z, and then just like that over there put z not and z right there because this is an integral and basically that's how it works so I'm gonna do ln p minus ln p naught uh, because like I said before final minus initial um, this pressure right here it's going to be the pressure that we're solving for, and this pressure right here is going to be the pressure that is the initial pressure. Um, which, uh, interestingly enough, it says the problem statement says at sea level. So we already have a we already have a pretty good idea about what that is. Um, let's just continue writing this all out. RTG Z minus z not beautiful okay so looks like we got everything all taken care of what can we do now well we can erase a bunch of this up here because we literally have no room for anything uh that's kind of the problem with having a small whiteboard uh you know at a, at a pretty strict budget so uh yeah uh, what we're going to do is I want to turn this recognizable equation into something even more recognizable. We're going to raise everything to the power of E, and we are going to get P is equal to P naught. See where this is going? E x P, meaning E to the power of this whole thing, negative m rt g z minus z naught. All right. So look at that. We pretty much have everything. Let us go ahead and think about what are our variables right here. Well, what's this right here? Well, we talked about in the problem statement, it said everything is at sea level. So, well, at least not, not everything, but um, the temperature, all of these variables are at sea level. And we want to figure out what this is right here. This is going to be different from this, of course. So um, we'll, we'll just do everything in Pascals or whatever. It could be, it could be whatever we want, I'm pretty sure, but uh, we'll just do this in pascals 101 325 because this is how many pascals are at sea level because pascals is the metric system too so uh, pretty convenient for everything um, what I want to do right here is I want to look and see how can I make all of these variables interchangeable with one another via dimensional analysis so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to start off with 273 degrees right here and then I'm going to get to 83 degrees Kelvin uh, one mile well, that's pretty easy uh, well not really I don't just like memorize this stuff unless you know I do it a ton 1609.34 meters and then this grams seriously we're, we're not going to use grams We're going to turn that into kilograms because joules right here are built off of kilograms. The, the base units for that involve kilograms. So what I'm going to do is 0 0.029 kilograms per mole. 
Well, looks like everything's looking pretty good. Um, we're just gonna keep racing down here so we have more room. Someday I'll get that big YouTube money and I'll buy a bigger whiteboard and I'll donate the rest to charity. But for now, we're stuck with this whiteboard. So P is equal to 101, 325 pascals. And then I'm gonna say EXP negative 0.029 kilograms per mole divided by 8.314 joules per mole degrees Kelvin. I'm going to multiply this by next variable T. And since it's in Kelvin, Kelvin, that's why we did that. Three, and we'll just add, uh, we'll just add 0.15 right here, just for the, uh, just for the lulls of it, I guess. I did it for the lulls. Um, 5.81 meters per second squared, because that's like gravity and stuff. So, um, thing that we get to right here is what is this? What is Z not? We have Z. What's Z not? Well, shoot. Um, probably zero because it gives us this right here. I mean, how do you have an initial distance and a final distance? Well, with regards to what? So there's only one thing to assume here. Assume Z is, I don't know what the equals is, uh, delta z. So pretend like I still had that written there and I had more space on my whiteboard. Um, Alright, 1609.34 meters. And then we are going to put this all in the parentheses for our exp. Sorry if I just covered the whole board up. Um, now I can definitely not just do this in my head, but um, I wrote down the answer because I've done this problem before. So we're just going to trust that. And uh, just to check our units, we're gonna do some dimensional analysis because dimensional analysis is always the best way to check your work unless you don't know how to do dimensional analysis. And sometimes that's me and it takes me like an hour just to figure it out. So let's just look at the easy stuff first. Well, this one's easy. Kelvins cancel with Kelvins. Uh, moles cancels with moles. Let's see, meters turns into meters squared. Um, we get to this thing, joules, we got kilograms meters squared over seconds squared over joules. Well, what's a joule? Joule is, I'll get to it right here, a newton meter. What's a newton? Kilogram meters squared. Da, da, da. I don't wanna write newton again. It's basically a kilogram mass times acceleration meters squared per second times meters. Oh wow, look, it all cancels out. Meter, 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 second, 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 kilograms that I already canceled out, cancels with kilograms. Once all is said and done, I swear I cannot find my calculator, otherwise I would do this, guys. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. But the answer is P is equal to eight, 3407 Haskells. Yeah. This is something that we were talking about, I think, in another video, um, where everything inside of an exponent is zero as far as the new, uh, units go. There are no units, everything is unitless inside of an exponent and that's all that I've learned. Maybe there's some magical equation that has units and its exponents. I, I, I don't know. I've never seen it. 
Um, I don't think I'll ever see it. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, I will uh, find my calculator. I don't really, I don't really use it though, honestly, because a lot of my classes don't let us use calculators. Um, except for this class. This class is the only class that I have that lets us use a calculator. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry if this one was a little bit more abnormal. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments because I probably did not explain this perfectly. Uh, still learning. I'm doing this to practice not because I'm amazing at it, but um, yeah, comment any questions that you have, anything you want to hear about, um, literally anything. If you want me to, um, I don't know, start doing stand-up comedy or start, uh, I don't know, doing something else, Lego animations, whatever, let me know.